Hey, 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 man, we got an easy go PDS here. Uh, don't run. We're going to test it and see what's wrong with it. I have no clue what's wrong with it, but we're going to figure it out. Uh, first thing we always do is bolts on DC. Um, then we're going to check voltage. So let's see what it does. If it don't run, we're going to see exactly what, what, what side it shows. Put it run. Is it run? It don't click. It don't click. It's still doing nothing. What's wrong with it, man? All right, let's see what we're going to do. All right, we're going to put the black lead on main negative. Red lead on the main positive here. We got six bolts. Uh, that ain't right. Let's see, we got one bolt. All right, the car is dead. We got to jump it off. Right there, so far we got bad batteries. The guy bought in for batteries, but anytime we put batteries in the car, we always jump it off to make sure the car runs. You hate, you hate to spend that much money when the car don't run, and you call them back and tell them it needs, it needs a control and motor or whatever. You've been there and done that, got a t-shirt. I want to, man. Go on my app, go on my page, man. Purchase some merchandise. Got some uh, the golf cart whisperer um, stickers. If you order a sticker, make sure you change the size on it because I ordered one to put on my truck. You can't change sizes. Um, and they're pretty, uh, pretty, they're pretty good quality. All right. Yeah, you. Uh, so we're we'll gonna turn this on here. Golf cart whisperer and Bob. I'm we'll gonna turn this on here. All right. Now this is just something we use here. It is. It, it's made for any. It's made for any car. Now you can hear that. You hear that beep? It's beeping a code. That's a that's a three five code. Put it on. Turn it up, Travis. Next one. Yeah, fucking it up. Look like you. Oh, you got something in the way. All right, uh, go down. Go down 36. Mm-hmm. Go down to 36 volt one. It is. All right, right now we got 47 volts. Uh, that right there, Bob. All right, let's see what we got. That's in the box. That's 48. <laughs> Right now we're trying to get it, take a little charge and do the test here. <laughs> what you got right there? What's that short? See how the batteries are short? Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got here. Negative positive. Let's see what we got. All right, we got 31, 32 volts. Let's see what it does. All right, 32 volts. You see it trying. All right, we got voltage. 32 is enough to run the car. Still no clicks. All right, still no clicks in and clicks out real fast. So what we're gonna do is check voltage. Uh, we're gonna check voltage on the reach switch over here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna check it right here. And what you want to see is, let's see here, where's it at? Right here, all right. You wanna see battery voltage on here. You can see battery voltage is here. You can go to the main positive. You have the same battery voltage, so you, know, so you know the reach switch is good. Then what we're going to do is on the controller here, you got your 10 pin harness. Uh, we're going to go to the yellow wire, which is, it comes from the key switch. What it does, the white wire here feeds the key switch out. And so this is output for the, for the key switch, then it comes back in the white and yellow wire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the key switch off. You see when I turn the key off, the battery voltage goes and comes. If you turn the key on and have no voltage on the white and yellow wire, but you have voltage on the white wire going to the key switch, replace the key switch. Now the yellow wire is just a feed from the controller straight to the solenoid here. 
So you want to check boulders there. That's your output from the key switch. Then we got the key on. We're gonna turn the key off, boulders work. So right there tells you that the key switch is good and the controller is doing an output to the solenoid. Um, then what we're gonna do is test. There's another way you can test the toe switch and test the re-switch on your harness here. The bottom two left wires are red, the one's red and white. You can see there the red and white one is the reach switch. So you can just test this. And you see you have battery voltage, which is good. Then the red wire, which is off the toe switch here. If you have voltage here, toe switch is good. Alright, so then what you want to do on the side of the controller here, you have a, a red, green. You see there? It's a red, red, green, black, and white. Alright. Red is an output to the pedal switch. So what we're going to do there is the black lead main negative, the red lead inside the red wire. Alright, All right, so we got voltage there inside the red wire. You have battery voltage. It goes to the pedal switch, red wire, comes back green. So when I hit the gas now, hitting the gas, you see you have battery voltage. That tells you the micro switch and the floorboard is good. Now you have a black and white wire here. All right, on the white wire, you got 14 volts when you turn the key on. All right, when you turn the key on, well, actually you got it run, I see. All right, when you put it in run, which you, of course you are, you're doing a test, it shows battery voltage, without battery voltage, 14 volts on the white wire. The black wire is a return from the edge um, at full, which is in the floorboard. At full pedal, it should read 2.9 volts DC. And you can see 2.7. That means that the floorboard itch is working, which is your speed. All right, so what you want to do there now, if you don't have no voltage on the black wire, but you have... 14 volts going to the its okay. then on the black wire when you hit the gas if that don't if the black wire doesn't change when you hit the gas like I'm doing replace your its as long as you have this on the white wire which 14 volts all right do it one more time for the its black wire 2.7 2.9 at full throttle all right, then what we're going to do now is test the FNR switch. Uh, black lead main negative, the gray wire on the harness is your output to the FNR. So as long as you have bolted here, whenever you do the test for forward and reverse, it should change. So now we're going to the forward side of the, of the FNR switch. We're in forward now. That's neutral. In reverse, you're going to have a, some voltage too. In reverse, you're going to have voltage too on the switch. It's normal. I've had people ask me before, why does it show it in reverse? All right, so it's no big deal. It's going to show it. Now we're going to go to the orange wire, which is off the reverse side of the F and R switch. You can see on the orange wire, you got in neutral, you show no voltage. In reverse, you have 31.9 volts, so you know the F and R switch is good. Now, a lot of people ask me about the solenoid on the on the small post. You yeah, have battery here again. On the small post, you got a blue wire and you have a yellow wire. And forward with the key on, you're going to show positive voltage on both small posts on the solenoid. All right, blue wire is your ground. What it does is it changes voltage from a hot to a ground then engages the solenoid. So if you take the red lead, put it on the yellow wire, and then on your blue wire, you put your black wire, when you hit the gas, you'll have battery voltage. But this here clicks in, clicks out so fast. Reset. It clicks in, clicks out so fast that you can't really, you see it try to change, but it don't, which means you're getting battery voltage. So now what we're gonna do is check the output of the controller and see if the controller is bad. So what you want to do here, get this here. Let's see what we got here. All right, that's good there. This controller must be bad, man. The way it 
inputs the solenoid revenge. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do an output test. This is your output from the controller to the solenoid. You get the gas, get all the change, and go up as you press the gas. And you can see this ain't changing because the drive side of the controller is messed up. When you have one that clicks like this does, make sure you ohm out this here. Doesn't matter which way you put them, but I'm gonna touch it. You see the zero out? Just make sure you zero it out. And then what you want to see there, change the millions range. Just doing ohms. All right, make sure it zeroes out. Yep, then what you wanna do is leave either lead like this here. Then you wanna to touch either lead to the frame. Just touch one of these to the frame here. And if it zeroes out like it does when you do this, then you know your motor's shorted. And in this case, nothing shorted out. So that tells you that the motor's good, there's nothing but a controller bad. So in this case here, they got a, they have a bad controller. But all right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post some more. Uh, appreciate everybody watching, man.